Hello students, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to tackle the answers on the following terms that I ask you to search for its functions. So let's have... Alright, so let's start with the centrio. So it is involved in cell division and it helps in the formation of spindle fibers that separate chromosomes during mitosis. Second term is the cytosol or the cytoplasm. It's the jelly-like fluid inside the cell that holds the organelles and is the site of many metabolic reactions. Third term, cytoskeleton. A network of fibers that provides structural support for the cell, aids in cell movement, and helps transport materials within the cell. Nuclear DNA Contains the genetic blueprint for the organism, encoding instructions for protein synthesis and cell function. Golgi complex or Golgi Golgi apparatus or Golgi or Golgi body Modify, sorts, and packages proteins and lipids for storage or transport out of the cell Lysosome Contains digestive enzymes that break down waste materials, cellular debris, and foreign invaders like bacteria Cell membrane A semi-permeable membrane that surrounds the cell providing protection and structure and controlling the movement of substances in and out of the cell mitochondrion or mitochondria known as the powerhouse of the cell mitochondria generate most of the cells Supply of ATP. ATP is the energy through cellular respiration. Nucleolus, a structure within the nucleus responsible for producing and assembling ribosome components. Nucleus contains the cell's genetic material, which is the DNA, and controls the cell's activities by regulating gene expression. Acts as the command center of the cell. Peroxisome. Contains enzymes that break down fatty acids and amino acids and detoxify certain chemicals, producing hydrogen peroxide as a byproduct, which is then converted to water. Rough in the plasmic reticulum, studied with ribosomes and involved in protein synthesis and processing. Ribosomes, small structures that are the site of protein synthesis. They can be found floating freely in the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth ER or smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks ribosomes and is involved in lipid synthesis and detoxification on processes. Vesicle Small membrane bound sacs that transport and store substances within the cell and can also aid in transporting materials to and from the cell surface. Alright, let's proceed to the picture analysis part. Plant and animal cells. So you are going to list down the difference between the plant and animal cells. This is the plant cell and this is the animal cell. What is the difference? So please list down. Let's just skip this part okay now let's proceed to the discussion questions what are the main structural differences between plant and animal cells observed under the microscope the answer is here chloroplast is present in plant cells vacuoles in plant cells are often large and in animal cells are usually smaller the shape of the plant cell is regular, box-like, while animal cells have a more irregular, rounded shape. 
let's go back to the second question why do plant cells have a cell wall and what is its function the answer is the cell wall provides structural support and protection to the plant cell it helps maintain the cell shape and prevents it from bursting when water enters the cell third question what is the purpose of staining the cells with iodide solution and methylene blue Iodine solution is used to stain plants, particularly starch-containing structures. It enhances the contrast, making the cell structures more visible under the microscope. <music> Methylene blue used to stain animal cells, making the nucleus and other cell structures more... Let's proceed to the next part. More visible. This helps in clearly identifying cell components that might otherwise be difficult to see. Alright, let's proceed to the fourth question. How does the shape of the cells differ between plant and animal cells and why? So the answer to this question is, plant cells generally have a more regular box-like shape due to the presence of a rigid cell wall that provides structural support. While animal cells have a more irregular, rounded shape because they lack a cell wall and are only surrounded by a flexible cell membrane, allowing them to adopt various shapes and facilitating their movement and interaction with other cells. And the last question, what similarities did you observe between plant and animal cells? So we have... The nucleus. Both plant and animal cells have a nucleus that contains their genetic material. Cell membrane. Both types of cells have a cell membrane that controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. Cytoplasm. Both cells contain cytoplasm, a gel-like substance that holds the other organelles and is the site of many metabolic reactions. Then, organelles. Both plant and animal cells have other common organelles such as mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and ribosomes. Now let's proceed to the formative assessment part. So all you have to do here is you write the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. Let's start. Which of the following organelles is found in plant cells but not in animal cells? Is it the nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplast, or ribosomes? What is the primary function of the cell wall in plant cells? A. To store genetic information B. To control movement of substances in and out of the cell C. To provide structural support and protection D. To produce energy for the cell Number 3. Which structure is responsible for protein synthesis in both plant and animal cells? A. Lysosome B. Ribosome C. Golgi apparatus D. Smooth ER Number 4. What organelle is known as the powerhouse of the cell? A. Nucleus B. Mitochondrion C. Chloroplast D. Ribosome Number 5. Which of the following is a function of the Golgi apparatus? A. Synthesizing proteins B. Modifying, sorting, and packaging proteins and lipids C. Breaking down cellular waste D. Producing ATP And the second part of our formative test is the plant and animal cells T chart. So all you have to do is you're going to identify whether the following uh, what is the following parts are present in both or in just one of them and what about their shape. And the following are the answers to our one to five then this one. All right, so so that ends our lesson two, uh, week two for our uh, sign seven quarter two. So if you have time still continue watching our videos for our week three okay thank you everyone and see you in our next video bye bye